our family farm is in Foley, and my grandmother, she raised uh, 14 kids, seven boys, seven girls. Uh, one night, she was the, the boys didn't want to go out and feed the cows, particularly the bulls. She went out and fed the bulls. She got mad because the boys wouldn't go out. She went out and fed the bulls. Something happened, whether she fell in, whatever. She got trampled by one of the bulls. They went to check on her, and there she was laying there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They brought her in. She died in the house. So, very tragic. Over the years, she was mad when she went out at the boys. Over the years, in the house, every one of the boys saw her. She came back. She would walk down the hall, open the bedroom door, and shake her finger at them. <laughs> she was still getting mad at them, huh? Oh, my gosh. Just the boys, it not gets, the girls. It gets better. Okay. It gets better. My dad was the seventh son. Everybody, all, all six of the boys saw her. My dad did not. Over the years, we always went out to the farm. We stayed overnight. I'm the seventh son of a seventh of the seventh son. All of my brothers saw it also. <laughs> I haven't seen it. She's not forgiven even the next generation yet for that <laughs> night, huh? She hates boys. I was uh, stationed in the Army down in Fort Knox, and if you know the area down there, there was a lot of Civil War skirmishes, even up in northern Kentucky. And There was a lady, I was. they told us about it, she was called the Lady of Five North, and she roamed around. People had seen her, and sure enough, uh, we were out on operations one night. I was a Jeep driver. Her captain. Yeah, with my captain, Captain Ballantyne. I still remember him. So there were two witnesses. He saw it first, or saw her, and then said, hey, Murphy, look at that. Hey, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And I said, yeah. And she was about maybe 50 feet in front of our Jeep. And it was a rainy night, kind of late, and because we were waiting, we were trying to get the tanks back. We were sitting up on a hill in a field, and sure enough, she went wandering right past us. Really? And all, all we saw was from her waist up, and she had her arms out, and she had the old dress, you know, the 1800s dress sure. with the muscles on the shoulder, and she was real clear, but then she started fading in and out. But she looked right at us. And then she looked away again and then wandered from right to left and then finally just disappeared. And he and I looked at each other and went, oh, my Lord, <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, okay, well, then I'm not crazy.